Hi everyone, Lily here. And in this video interview we're going to explain uh, and give perspective of a system that uh, was removed recently um, that basically explains or shows how personality platforms um, exist within the mind consciousness system and how they're used to um, actually control the physical and so determine your behavior and interaction experience with and towards others within your world and your reality and why and how um, it is and has become so automatic where it's like you just instantly become a total changed person to or towards something or someone. Um, for example, you'll notice that on when you're speaking to someone having a, a meal, all of a sudden someone phones you and that someone that's phoning you, you have a different relationship towards. And in that one sudden, immediate moment, you can change voice tonality, behavior, uh, reactions, everything within you shifts. Put the phone down here and you experience a change again. So this would be a cool example um, for those that's been walking process to play with uh, when uh, you have a moment is to for a day, for example, observe how you in sudden unexpected moments can change as a total self within a moment where an experience with one person and an experience with another that happened with like a phone call. So this particular personality system uh, worked as follows. It had like a, a plate, a metal plate platform within the center of your human physical body. It's a very thin metal plate. Um, that metal plate had like these blue threads, light blue, silver and white threads that would extend from the plate, permeate and infiltrate the total physical flesh of and as the human physical body so that it would basically infuse with the muscle tissue. And as it infused with the muscle tissue, and I mean it was like lots and lots of these threads. As it infused within the muscle tissue, it then creates a resonance platform within the physical human body. So it creates like a, a resonance substance, and it's like a, a liquid substance that you can almost feel. Uh, this would be like the base structural system design of this personality platform system. Now, how the mind consciousness system would utilize this is as follows. So, in your process or your life experience, as you develop, uh, create, and program your personalities, where it's like you'll take one person and uh, you will decide whether you want to be or become them or not. So, we'll now take the example of being or becoming something or someone, um, and you observe their behaviors, how they speak their tonalities, their interactions. I mean, it'll be people that you spend an exceptional amount of time with wherein through time you stored and saved within yourself all the details of this person that you particularly liked because you um, had grown a liking or a relation to how others reacted to this person and you wanted to experience that as well. And so you stored and copied um, a whole database of this person and will be like little parts like literally look like little parts like like parts like how the person um, use their hair do their hair color their hair um, move their hands move their bodies what clothes they wear um, how they speak what voice tonality they use how they manipulate how they um, get out of situations how they sweet talk how they lie how they deceive I mean everything um, when you start slowing down within yourself and your process and start walking you in specificity, especially when you reach actual real self-honesty where you can see what it is that you've been doing, you'll be able to see the detail of all of this yourself in how we very meticulously and specifically actually designed ourselves um, with in our world and reality from our external examples. And then what the mind consciousness system do is to take all of these accumulated parts from that you have now imitated and stored and imprinted within yourself 
and it creates symbols. It imprints or burns symbols within this metal plate. So it has like your basic personality system platform within yourself. Remember the mind consciousness system is multidimensional. It's got various duplicate systems of the exact same systems in various forms. So for example, you have a system for personality within your unconscious physical mind and then you have this personality platform that the mind consciousness system uses, if you can call it like a backup system as well where it transforms the pictures, the memories, the experiences, um, everything that you accumulated from your external reality and change it into symbolic forms. Like it, it creates and infuses and burns onto this metal plate various shapes and forms that represent all the individual memories, pictures, energies, reactions that you copied and imprinted from this person. So it becomes a symbolic encoded system storage backup uh, for the mind consciousness system and it primarily uses this symbolic system as like when it needs to immediately activate which is that shift that happens um, most of the time for example you don't really immediately shift personalities it only happens in instances where for example those phone calls happen it is it, the system was created designed and programmed um, as a um, coincidence system for when a person needs to immediately change personalities they can do that because previously within the old system design um, to be able to generate and activate a process took the whole process of having conscious mind thoughts going to your subconscious mind back chat and then reactions and then your unconscious mind change physical behavior which takes a bit of time whereas now with this personality platform system the mind can change immediately where everything happens at once conscious subconscious and unconscious mind um, in one immediate moment um, so everything was then encoded and burned onto this metal plate as symbols that those symbols then resonated on this metal plate the resonance moved through the threads and then fold the resonance platform that was manifested in your body and then it would kind of be standing there idling in the background so that whoever was connected to that system the moment they're in your world it activates so you always have like this resonance signature of this personality platform system in relation to a particular person that you copied it from so whenever you see that person or that person is in your world that system activates and um, remember, in terms of system removals, when we remove systems, we remove it existentially for all of humanity. However, it does not mean it is gone. I emphasize this again because we have emphasized it in interviews, but we will do so again in every interview for if there is a person listening to this for the first time. Um, system removal is removed existentially for all. However, how you live this as a personality system in your conscious, subconscious and unconscious mind as who you are it's going to take a process of writing it out self-forgiveness and self-corrective application to change you as it the removal of the system simply gives you an opportunity a window of opportunity um, for you to be able to facilitate your process in changing yourself as that without the actual system being there creating more of a um, resistance uh, whereas instead of now having to walk the system out you walk only yourself as that system out um, within your process so that's just a perspective on how systems manifest and why within and as the mind consciousness system and to assist and support yourself to have a look at those personality changes that happen and towards who because that instant personality change would mean that towards, towards a particular person you created a total personality. Alright, thank you.